In this video, I show you how to clone in Minecraft and use the clone command. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. This guide is going to work on both Minecraft Bedrock and Minecraft Java, so let's get right into this. So if you're on Minecraft Bedrock, you're going to need to go and enable your coordinates. If you want to go and enable your coordinates on Minecraft Java, all you need to do is press F3. But on Bedrock, it's a bit more complicated. So go and pause the game and go to settings and wait for it to load. And then all you need to do is make sure game is selected. Then scroll down until you go and see the option for world options. And then you can go and switch on show coordinates just like that. We can go back and as you can see, we can now go and see our current position and our coordinates. The next thing you need to do is go to the lowest point and we need to do that from a corner. So make sure we go to a corner and then the lowest point. In this case, we're going to do it from here. So here I am in the lowest point of one of the corners of the structure or thing I want to go and clone. So what you need to do is go and note down the coordinates or the position. I just, just go and note it down by taking a picture or just writing them down. Now what we need to do is go to the highest point of the opposite corner. So in this case, mine is going to be up here and it's important to things like ruse and things like that you need to include that so as you can see i'm going to just make sure i'm flying at this point here then move across to the other corner just like so and make sure you're lined up properly just like so and that is about right about here so then i'm going to fly up just to make sure i am above the highest corner and then go and note these coordinates down once again so it's four minus 53 eight I'm going to quickly take a picture of that. You should now have two sets of coordinates written down. And now the next thing you need to do is to go and decide where you want to go and clone the thing to or the struct building to. So in this case, I'm just going to run over here just a bit far away. If it's too close, it's not going to work, which is really important to know. So I'm going to go and do it here. And once you've found the place you want to go and do it, you need to go and note down the coordinates of where you are now which you and where you want it to be cloned to. So I'm now going to go and start entering all the coordinates we've just taken pictures of. We now need to go and start using all the coordinates we've just gone and collected. So firstly, you need to go and open up your chat and type in slash clone like so. And then for the first coordinate we need to do is the beginning one. And this is the lowest point of the first corner. So in my case, mine was minus three, minus 60, then one, just like that. And of course, you're going to have your own coordinates. And then I'm going to go and do the next one, which was four minus 53, eight. And it's important that you just leave a space after each of them, just like so now you need to go and enter in the destination coordinates which is now where i'm standing which i want it to be cloned to and in that case for me it's minus 25 minus 60 2 just like so then once you're happy with it go and press enter just like so and as you can see it says 512 blocks cloned and i've just gone and cloned it and just to show you guys i've just gone and cloned it just like that it's such a great way to go and copy buildings quickly and yeah if you guys found this useful please go down below and consider leaving a like peace